to my channel, Miss Crochet and Coffee here, and today we're back with another unbagging of the Ye Bright store off AliExpress. Now, this is a canvas I ordered to do for my husband because he absolutely loved it. So, let's get into it. I can't, oh, there they are. Okay, I can't find my scissors. So, let's do some minor surgery. So, we're going to do some minor surgery here. All right, and it's in that bubble mailer that we all hate, but it doesn't look damaged, so that's a, that's a plus. We're gonna get rid of that. Y'all don't care about that. Let's get it out of this boot, because even though I'm working on my ever moment right now, um, this will probably be the next project because my husband fell in love with it when he saw it. So let's see what we got here. We got our diamonds. We got our pumpkin spice of tool kits. We got one plate of wax, nine placer, drill pin, cheapo tweezers, green boat with no funnel. And then we have the drills. And we have an inventory sheet. And that is what the image looks like. But before we get into the drills, let's look at this canvas because I want to make sure it's not damaged because we all know how fun the bubble boat is, or a bubble boot, sorry. This is a 40 by 50. I'm calling it Sting Punk Kitty. Oh God, I hate these canvases so much. I hate the glue coming up when you try to lift it off. All right, so let's see, and it's all in one piece. on there we got some bubbles nothing major nothing that can't be fixed uh, we of course have the wrinkling because of it being in the bubble boot so maybe we can fix that just a little bit see and when you spend all this kind of money for this you don't want to have to do all this surgery and I'll insert the, this is the image, if you were in my live stream, this is the image that was supposed to be delivered yesterday, and I tore it. It was supposed to be delivered yesterday, and somebody else ended up getting it on their route, and so they ended up taking it back to the depot because they couldn't get into my building, and then my mailman made the point to make sure to hand deliver it to me today. That paper's really on there, okay. So... I'm not sure how much detail that's going to have. Um, oh, okay, I can see it now. So it's a little steampunk cat. Again, that's what it's supposed to look like. If I can show it to you, geez, oh. And as you can see, symbol quality looks nice and clear. It is around 40 by 50. Little steampunk cat. Isn't he cute? My husband saw that and he thought it was completely adorable. So I was like, oh, okay. Well, that'll be a good one for him to do. He's, I, I want to do it for him, but I think I'm going to make him do it because right now he's working on a, his first square. And I think he would enjoy it a little bit more if he got around. So we're going to let him do this one. But it doesn't seem to have any damage. It's a little damage, which, you know, apparently you have to just be okay with since, you know, you pay all that money for a canvas and they just stuff it in a boot because it's cheaper than putting it in a box where it won't get damaged and they won't have a bunch of complaints. But that's a different story for a different day. So, the back of it doesn't look too horrible. We have some bubbling here. We're going to just... And I do have a science experiment that I'm going to be doing with my canvases. Not this one. Mr. Coffee can worry about that. But let's take a look at these drills here. Okay, so if you don't like the crinkling, mute your phone for like mm, 30 seconds. There is a lot of browns in this. And we have our inventory sheet. 
It doesn't tell us how many colors we have. It says it has been inspected, but you guys know we're going to reinspect it. So we do have some baggies. Not good quality baggies, but they're cheapo baggies, and that's fine. So let's do inventory really quick. And then when I come back, we're going to straighten you up a little bit. Sorry. You should get your life together. What is you doing? All right. So we're going to do inventory quick. And then when I come back, I'll tell you if it's all there. And I'll give you my final thoughts. But as of right now, let's get this inventory done, shall we? All right, let's go. So all the diamonds are there. Everything is accounted for. Uh, some of the bags have torn off bags like this here, which is kind of annoying, but we're not gonna nitpick. All the diamonds are there. The canvas is a little damaged, but we can fix that. Um, for this store, I'd probably give them, as a first glance, first impression, I'd probably give them an eight out of 10. Uh, the Ye Bright store, I'll have all the information about this diamond painting and the store down in the description box. Uh, so that's my unboxing of the Steampunk, Steampunk Kitten from the Ye Bright store. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the little bell for notifications for any time I put up a video, which could be completely random. So make sure you hit the bell so that you don't miss out on anything. Either way, this is Miss Crochet and Coffee, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!